So let's take a look at this last student, um, case study number six. Uh, let's start with um, his statistics here. So in, on the SAT1, he got a 750 on the writing, 800 on the math, 700, or sorry, on the reading, and then 700 on the writing. And um, this, you know, indicates to me that this is a really strong math student, certainly still strong in, in writing and reading, um, but not quite as strong. So maybe a little lopsided, which is perfectly fine. Um, SAT 2s, student has taken four. We see math is 800, bio is 800, physics 800, and U.S. history is a 740. Again, I see this student is really strong in the math and sciences and still strong by many standards in humanities, but I'm guessing that the, the sciences are more his thing. And then if we look at the APs, really strong APs. Take a look, uh, B, uh, Calc BC 5, Bio 5, Physics 5, took both Physics B and C and got a 5 in both, English Language uh, and Comp got a 4 and a 5. So what I like about this is this student has taken a lot of APs, first of all, but also consistently throws in a humanities here and there. So he's, he's not so, so angular that he's just focused on the sciences and the maths. Um, still does pursue English language, got a four, but still that's, that's strong. Composition five, which is usually a little bit um, uh, more difficult anyway and then U.S. history. So really this is a, a very strong, very competitive um, student academically. So I'm definitely paying attention. So now I want to see what else is this student all about. So he wants to study engineering and CS and he's at the top 3% of his class. So this is, you know, hypothesis confirmed, definitely a math science kind of student um, and, and therefore really angular from that perspective. What's there really isn't a benefit to being angular or well-rounded um, as an applicant goes. The slight benefit to being angular is I'm going to remember this as the math science kid, this is the engineering kid. So that may help um, me remember this student and make him more memorable. Um, top 3% really strong, so even though he's um, heavily weighted to the maths and sciences, he's scoring high enough in his humanities classes that he, he really is able to rise to the top. Let's take a look at his activities to see if there's something compelling in this application. He's definitely passed the competitive bar, and so now students won't be admitted because just because they're competitive. They'll be admitted because they also have something really compelling in their application. So he did an internship at Microsoft on programming in 12th. So that's um, noteworthy. Uh, you know, I, I noticed from his summer activities, he's interned at Microsoft and is researching at the University of Washington. So um, I believe this student is from coming from Washington State. So it means that this is in his backyard. This is something that he can take advantage of. And um, it's good to see that he's taking advantage of it. And he's specifically focusing on the things that are interesting to him, you know, this engineering and CS kind of background. He's on the school informatics team um, and, and does programming. My goodness, he knows Java, C, C++, Perl, JavaScript, and so on and so forth. Um, not to mention that he's captain and has been involved for three years. This is emerging to me as, as one of the more compelling pieces of his profile because that takes a lot to be able to learn all of those languages. And he's not going to be getting that from his school, even if he takes APCS or even does, um, you know, takes a, a computer science kind of class in his high school, he's just not going to have the, the kind of um, resources available to him to learn all of these languages. So this is, this is really kind of interesting. On the school robotics team, physics team, science olympiad, plays piano, and uh, oh my gosh, he's telling me he's play, he plays video games. <laughs> so this is something that I, I do see from time, I have seen from time to time on students' applications. Um, it is certainly a way to spend some time. It's not something I would necessarily put in an application, um, but it certainly fits with his profile of being sort of this um, uh, techie kind of computer science person. Um, and just again to note back here what he's doing in his summers, after 11th, he interned at Microsoft, which I'm assuming led to his senior year internship. 
then after 10th, he did some research at the University of Washington in the engineering department. So this, what's great about this application is it's all coming together as very focused. I can really see the theme emerging here. This is the math, science, engineering, CS kind of student who, what I'm most remembering about him is that he knows all these programming languages and he's been very, very focused, laser focused. However, I'm not convinced that this is necessarily enough to admit this student. I would really want to know more about this student's context. How does this student fare? I'm guessing academically, he's among the top compared to his peers. Whether he's at a big school or a small school, this, you, you don't get much better than this from that perspective. But does this student have a personality? Is he interesting? Does he have a unique angle when he thinks about these things? I like that he has this bit of leadership here, but is this a student who's gonna sit in his room and program or will he share this knowledge with others? What, what else can he do with this programming? And that's where I'm really going to look to his essays to get a sense of how he thinks about the things that he's interested in. So just from this alone, I'm paying attention, this is interesting, but it's going to be his essays and the letters of recommendation I read from his teachers that will really help me decide this is a great kid to go for or you know what, this, this, this may not be the most compelling student. Without a doubt, very competitive, very outstanding, really has done a great job with many of these activities. But these, these sort of all blend together. There's no leadership, there's some level of consistency, that's great, but any of them by themselves, are, are, they're not particularly interesting or noteworthy. I'm not gonna remember them when I walk away. Um, I'm really gonna be remembering his specific focus in, on you know, intern, his internships, and then all of these languages, which really are interesting. So this student definitely stands a, a chance. I would just wanna see the essays and see how he really articulates his interests and how his teachers talk about him. Is he a good student, a good classmate, a good friend? Has he impacted his school environment? Um, how has he impacted his community and in what ways? So those are some of the other things that I'm gonna be thinking about.